State leading Lehigh 19-9. Main event, 197, Michael Beard and Max Dean in a matchup of former teammates. This is a, a soap opera in singlets. Oh, I'm laughing, Kyle. Did you see the red mark on the back of Max Dean's neck? I did not. I don't know if, if, you know, there's an injury or something, or maybe one of the coaches gave him a crack on the back of the neck to be ready for this bout because he lost on Friday and wanted him to be ready. And look at Michael Beard with the opening takedown. And you know he is inspired and motivated to get the win here today. Lehigh's first takedown in this duel since Josh Humphreys before intermission. So a 2 nothing lead for Michael Beard. Here's the look at the, was a double leg shot. He finishes on that right leg of the defending national champion at 197 pounds. Yeah, and that was an exact perfect leg attack to score on Max Dean. Max Dean's a very good top wrestler. I don't know, I, I tell my wrestlers, do not shoot head outside singles on guys that are good with legs. They sit to their hip well, they scramble well. So that was a perfect shot. And bring it up in the air. Take away the scramble ability. A matchup of two top 10 wrestlers here both coming in off of a loss. Dean lost in sudden victory Friday night to Ethan Laird of Ryder University. And Beard lost his first match of the season a week ago to Nino Bonacorsi of Pitt 10 to four. So good clash of styles today. And, and not a bad loss for no. Beard. I mean, Bonacorsi was in the national finals two years ago, lost in a round of 12 last year. He's legit, um, but both of these guys are fired up to be here tonight. Same exact shot from Beard trying to finish and Dean able to get the foot down and separate to avoid the takedown. Just past the halfway point of the first period between these two. It was Dean who transferred to Penn State from Cornell a year ago. And this is in no way gonna be a blowout, right? No. This is gonna go right down to the wire. Upon Dean's arrival, you know, Beard wrestled in some open tournaments last year. Now Dean's in on a single, and he will finish for two. Yeah, and he's going to have to work gonna, out. Yep. This is where Dean is dangerous back down on the mat, so Beard. And I, don't, I, I thought the count should have started a long time ago there. How long? Well, he got his hands are up off the mat, and he waited till there was four. Now comes back behind. This is some... Knowing what the rules are, there's the stalling warning with no attempt. Penn State bench not happy with that call, but a warning given to Dean. And the Penn State staff isn't real happy with that. And Dean has been, like, that's a tough call again, right? Because in the Ryder match, that was a tough takedown, right? That happened in a matter of a fraction of a second, yep. but the rule applied. And this is, Dean's tough on top here, and this is where he wins a lot of his close matches, is he is tough to get out on, on bottom. He'll go out of bounds, 19 seconds to go. This is a big 19 seconds here for Beard to try to get out, not let Dean finish the period on top. Both guys with a takedown here already in this one. So three leg attacks, right? Two by Beard, one by Dean. Both of them score. The guy that shoots is going to win in this bout when they're on their feet. Well, Lehigh really wants something. There's a stalling call as they go out of bounds and a point awarded to Penn State. The brick was thrown by Lehigh as well. I don't know if they thought there was a locked hands uh, when when Beard went back down to the mat. We'll see what the, the call is. Kel Sanderson's upset about the stalling call, but they're going to review something first. Trying to eavesdrop here and see. We talked looking. about this before the bout. Yep. We said there will be a brick throw. Yep. So on the mat return, uh, the officials are taking a look at it uh, on the monitor to our right. And they're going to look for locking hands, I believe. Here, check it out. We'll see if when the hands come down from Beard right here, which is coming up in the next fraction of a second. And now there was no lock there. It looked like an overlap, but not a lock. At least that's what I saw. I saw this. I did not, you know, hands. But they're on their feet. Wouldn't he be? Well, hands were down. Okay. So locking hands could be a call there, but it looked like the angle that we that, looked at. I didn't there was see no it there. lock. You? Yeah. But 
That being said, a big point in the bout on that stall call against Be uh, uh, Dean, his second one of the match. And what do you know, it's another call going to replay with Max Dean and hands being on the mat. <laughs> a little bit different than the call on yes, Friday night, yes. right? With a hand touch, which was a micro second. And that was the correct call on Friday night. Take a look here. And this is right off so the a, restart. A, is there a lock? I couldn't tell there right there have. before he brought his last knee up. Well, he, you know, his hands are locked once he stands up, but you can't really tell from that original restart was there uh, locked hands. And this on the mat return, there's no lock there. So maybe it was right off the restart that they're going to try to maybe look at again. But uh, looked to me like that the, the Lehigh coaching staff are, are saying they're I asking it was the officials right, The first time he's tried up. to come right up off the mat there. Yep. So they're, yeah, they're going to take a look all the way back at the uh, restart for, for Lehigh as Kale Sanderson looking around knowing that so the, this could the, be a big the coaching call. dynamic right now is the top and bottom dynamic, right? Beard having a tough time getting out, but we already saw two stall calls on top here. Yep. So no locked hands. That was confirmed. So Lehigh loses their challenge. Yeah, I had a hard time seeing any evidence yep. of locked hands there. I think that was a good call. But I'll tell you what, if I'm Beard, even though he's not getting out on bottom, I go bottom this whole bout. And what's crazy is because he's going to earn stall calls if yep. he can get to his feet. And throughout that entire time, these two former teammates were in the center of the mat, just kind of pacing back and forth, not making eye contact, just I'm sure there's on a it. ton of respect for these guys. Yep. And Michael Beard is so well respected by the, the staff and the guys at Lehigh. I can only imagine he had the same same thing going on at Penn State when he was there. It was an NCAA seventh two years ago for the Nittany Lions at 197 pounds. And what a great pickup for Lehigh. Redshirted last year, has three years of eligibility. So it's a 3-3 match going to period number two. Dean chose bottom, gets the escape, has a 4-3 lead. So Dean trying to open things up on his feet here, knowing that Beard Maybe a better wrestler on their feet. Dean certainly with the advantage on the mat. And I've said that since. Oh, what a shot he by has Beard. A great leg attack for a big 197 pounder. And I noticed that his freshman year, in the middle of his freshman year, I'm like, this guy can wrestle. And a man big 97 pounder. Yeah. Beard's going to cut him. Yeah, and that he was likes a good what he sees on his there. feet. He, he did a good job recognizing that. They're calling stalling quick from that top position. Is the tenth takedown of the bout for Lehigh. Penn State has 20 of them. It's a 5-5 match here. Uh, that beer's got to get moving here. He's, he's standing too flat-footed. Dean has a nice single leg attack of his own. And I think this is what it's going to come down to. I think it's going to come down to the takedowns here, even though they're both good mat wrestlers. Well, you know, if, oh, oh, here's a shot by Dean. That outside single. Beard quickly to the ankle to Beard try to prevent ankle, it. Though, he's got to get some height. Two points yep. awarded. Nice job by Dean. Look at. And it's going to be stopped for a stalemate there, so. 17 seconds left and a restart here with Beard underneath. Here's a look at the finish from Dean. That was just an excellent head outside single. Kept that thigh close to his body, put him on his hip. Leg in by Dean here. Beard's able to get it out. Gets to his feet, nine seconds left. Crowd wants a stalling call, but Beard gets the escape. That's a big one going into the third period. Now the question it is. It was, but that was a smart decision by Dean. He was so close to getting hitting that, you know, stall. That stall call yeah. again. And I was going to say maybe does that mean Lehigh doesn't want to put Beard underneath, but they're going to. No, it this is there. exactly yep. the right call. Look at that was almost a third time he could have been hit for stalling. Yep. You absolutely want to go bottom. You have Beard feeling. Stay that on leg. your feet. Make him take you to the mat. 
All right, so here we go. Starting now, over. Beard, Beard, if he wants to win, the either guy has got to get to their shot first. A 7-7 bout. Beard looking for a decisive takedown, as is Dean. Oh, good Counter throw behind. Him. That was beautiful. Two points. Cuts across to a double. He's got to work up here. Nine to seven. And Dean doing a nice job of blocking off there. Trying to, he actually tried to keep him down on that leg to hit. Penn State does that. They will, they will grab your hands so you can't work up to force that stall call. Dean to his feet again. Beard, Beard cuts nice. And here we go. Here we go. Nine to eight, one minute to go, and that's a stall call. A warning against Beard, who backed out there. And here we go. Oh, there's the beautiful front headlock to a single, cut across to a double. And we shot got from Dean. Nice shot. Counter Beard! Oh, another takedown. 11 to eight. An electrifying bout between two former teammates. And this teammates. is not over. This is not over yet. 11-9. Takedown ties it for Dean. This match right here was worth the price of admission. Both benches on their feet. Shot from distance from Dean. Defended by Beard. Hanging on for probably a stalemate. They'll come back to their feet. Another shot by Dean. 15 seconds. Defended oh, by Beard. He's going to dance away. He can take a stall call as long as he doesn't give up a takedown. He did not want to get into a jiu-jitsu style. Five situation. seconds left. And this crowd absolutely loves it. The mm -hmm. national champ goes down twice in three days. Michael Beard, the winner at 100.